Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thurman's Guitars and Basses. If you're new here, welcome. What I do is take intros, licks, riffs, bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As per usual, this is a recommendation based format, so if there's any song within the range of possible that you'd like to see on this channel, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell and all that good stuff. Thank you very much in advance. And without further ado, let's jump into today's song, which is no other than Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. <laughs> If we talk about a pantheon of rock and roll songs, this is most definitely right up there. It is such an iconic riff, such an iconic guitar sound, and that means it's actually quite a challenge to reproduce. My research led me to conclude that Jimmy Page used a Gibson Les Paul on this recording. I do not have a Gibson Les Paul, but I have this guitar, which is actually my first uh, Mexican Strat, and I've had that for a long time, and I've I've played it through. But it's my only guitar with a very low output, vintage type of output. This is a Samuel Duncan uh, 59. And I think that for that reason, it's probably well suited for that kind of tone. So with that said, this is the basic guitar sound. <laughs> Nothing too fancy here. I think pretty much any sort of bridge humbucker would do the trick as long as we're looking at something with a low to medium type of output. Because if you have an active humbucker or something that's really, really hot, uh, it will lead your ramp and all pedals, uh, everything will go through later to compress too much. And with that type of gain structure, basically just kind of fart out. So yeah, any low, medium output humbucker will do. I'll link some in the description box down below as well as all the gear that I'm using here today if you need some inspiration. And so that leads us to part two of that video which is our amp and pedal setup. Again, according to my research because well, I, I wasn't here when the song was recorded. Jimmy Page used small amplifiers, probably small Fenders, 57 type, one channel amps, cranked all the way up to gain that really gritty power amp saturation. Now, if you have one of these very small tube amps, let's say five watt tube amps at home, you can absolutely try to crank it up. It shouldn't be deafeningly loud. That being said, if I were to do it with this amp, I would probably fry up these mics. So I'm not going to do that. And for everyone at home who's using like a, a bigger amplifier or just whose amplifier does not really distort the right way, because some amps, when going into power amp overdrive, will do that very nicely and get gritty just in the right places, uh, but not all of them. And for that, we have distortion and overdrive pedals. Now, again, if you're playing into a clean amp, you're looking at a uh, amp in a box type of situation. That's the pedal you want to go for. If you can be more specific about it, I'd recommend pedals that have been modeled after a one channel amplifier, meaning that their gain structure is going to try to emulate a power amp gain and not preamp gain. And for that, I'm going to use the Vertex Ultraphonics Overdrive uh, volume at 8.30, 9 o'clock, and gain about 2 o'clock. And that's gonna take my sound here. <laughs> That's already a pretty good place to be. That being said, we have to acknowledge that for all these like 60s, 70s recordings, a lot has changed since. And what I mean by that is, even though there probably wasn't a reverb pedal in that signal chain, the fact that it was mic'd differently and it was probably mic'd in a room or like a corridor with different mics at different distances, we do have that airiness, that pre-delay, that's pretty 
pronounced that's really audible. And so for that, the best way to emulate it would be a delay and reverb pedal, uh, which is what I'm going to do here with the Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master, which is my Desert Island pedal. Very standard, very short, just to add that bit of air that's in the actual recording. So pretty much everything at nine o'clock. And that's going to take our sound there. <laughs> And that to me is the closest I'll probably get to that tone with what I've got here. Of course, there are a myriad of options. There's so many different gain pedals and delays and reverbs, and that's all really cool. To get a better understanding of how you should set up your delay and reverb to emulate sort of these room mics, uh, on a single note, it would sound like this. So we're looking at some echo, there's there's definitely like some reverb happening there and a very short slap back, like a second mic picking up from further away from the amp. And with that, I think we're ready to jump onto step number three of that video, which is the most important one and is how to play the song. I'm gonna cut that explanation in two parts. The first one being, that slide from A to B on the E string, and then a slight bend on the D note of the A string. So basically fret five, seven, and five on the A string, and it should look something like this. That small bend at the end being here to help transition to the second part of that riff, which is basically an E power chord starting on fret seven of the A string, and that goes like this. And that's it really, there's not much else going on on your fretting hand, let's have a look at our picking hand. classic here as well. I have seen some people playing it on strumming just the A string, 7th fret, so doing something like this. Which I think is, is not the way Jimmy Page plays it and also does remove a lot of the low end action to this riff. But with that being said, I think that's it. I think you guys have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Whole Lotta Love by Led Zeppelin. As for every episode, if some of you guys want to spend more time learning the song, the tabs will be available in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, just let me know which song you want me to see cover next and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic week and I will see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone. Thank you.